Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up the image of your micro SD card. Let's get started. And if you're wondering why you should back up an image on a micro SD card, well, if you're a Raspberry Pi user, I would say it's very important. Micro SD cards can fail, can become corrupt. Maybe you make a setting change, for example, if you're in RetroPie or in Raspbian, and things just don't work right afterwards. If you have a backup image, then you can just restore that image back to the micro SD card and you're golden. And if you're wondering what an image is, it's basically a complete backup, 100% backup of everything that is on that micro SD card. So this can be very useful as well if you wanted to, for example, save your settings and give it to someone. If you've set up and configured RetroPie to work with a specific controller or a specific setting, uh, or if you've got an emulator to work really well with the Raspberry Pi, or if you've got Raspbian configured and you want to share that configuration with someone else, you can put those images on a, f I was going to say floppy disk, you can put them on a USB key, you can send them to them online, you can just put it on another micro SD card. So it makes life a lot easier and it makes your Raspberry Pi experience incredibly better. So I've had this website up in the background for a while now. This is one of the programs that you will need. This is called Win32 Disk Imager. I like this program, it works very, very well. And I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. It is free. Now, once you have Win32 Disk Imager downloaded and installed, you will need to plug the micro SD card into your computer. I'm using an Anchor micro SD card reader. It's got a slot for an SD card and a micro SD card. And this one is very, very good. It's USB 3.0 and I have found it to work pretty flawlessly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the image from my micro SD card now. Once you plug the micro SD card into the computer, Win32 Disk Imager should automatically recognize the drive. If not, don't worry, close Win32 Disk Imager, reopen it once the micro SD card has been plugged into the computer. The next step is to tell Win32 Disk Imager where you want to place your image. So you can place it anywhere you would like, provided you have space on the hard drive. I'm placing mine in my E drive and you also have to name the image here. You have to name it .img. So I'm naming this retropie.img, and this is my backup image of RetroPie. Once you've done this, the next step is to click read. It says here, read data from device to image file. Now this step takes a little bit. Uh, you can see here, it's roughly gonna take 32 minutes to go through my entire micro SD card and create the image one for one. All right, so now Win32 Disk Imager has said read successful. So at this point, I have successfully created a perfect image of the micro SD card. So if you just wanted to create an image of your micro SD card, that's about it. However, if you did want to go one step further and restore that image to a micro SD card or a different micro SD card, then stay tuned. So to write an image to a micro SD card, I recommend using Etcher. And I will leave a link to this program in the description below. So we've already created the image file, and now I need to connect this micro SD card to the computer. So I'm just using the same Anchor micro USB reader into my computer. And I would like to take note of one thing as well you don't need the exact same brand or size of micro SD card that you use to copy the image. So for example, if you have a 200 gigabyte image that you created from a 200 gigabyte card, and let's say it was a Samsung card, and then you had a 256 gigabyte SanDisk card that you wanted to put the image to, that will work as well. What might not work is if you try to put the image on a smaller micro SD card. So if your image is, I don't know, 150 gigs and you try to put it on a 64 gig micro SD card, obviously it's not going to work. So I have selected the image that I just created. Make sure you select the proper 
drive on here. If you have external drives, just make sure they're not connected or not selected. Make sure you're selecting the right drive. So I've only got one uh, external drive plugged in right now, and that is the micro SD card, which is reading right here. So I've selected the image, I've selected the micro SD card. The next step is to simply click flash. Creating the image and writing the image will vary in time based on the speed of the micro SD card, based on the speed of your USB drive, based on your computer, based on the size of the micro SD card and image. So you can see here, this is gonna take a while. It's ETA right now is 53 minutes and it's running at roughly 40 megabytes a second. All right, and just like that, both micro SD cards are now the exact same. Plus I have the image backed up in case I need it for something else. Uh, also, I guess Etcher here is out of date, so it's also reminding me to update that. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.